Now we have some minutes for question and comments. So if somebody wants, please. Okay, you too, and we must finish because, uh, as I said, okay. Um, question to uh, Mr. Harut. The Nazis made documentations of the mass murders. Were there any documentations in the Armenian uh, massacres? Yeah, well, there are tons of documentation in the Ottoman uh, archives written in uh, Arabic script, and uh, but in Turkish language. They are in the archives currently in Ankara and Istanbul. Some of them in recent years have been uh, made public, and uh, a summary of each document is put uh, on the internet. But there are many, many more, probably millions of them still not made public. Some have been destroyed over the years, probably the most recriminating ones are destroyed. Some have been sold years ago as bulk paper to Bulgaria and uh, sh shipped to Marseille. Some were destroyed supposedly due to fires in the warehouse. But there are still enough. Uh, from time to time when I write an article, I, I go on the internet. Even the ones that they think it's safe, that they release after l going through and cleansing it, there's still enough material there. Uh, there are a lot of telegrams from Talat to each of the region's commanders telling telling them, you know, when they deport a convoy of uh, deportees, uh, he wants to know how many men, women, children, what time, from where, wh where they reach in the evening of that day, you know, as they were de being deported to the Syrian desert. And then he, he expects uh, a, a report back from them, and they report back, they're all in, uh, Shifr in uh, secret code, the, docu uh, the the telegrams. But ironically, when when they in the, in the archives, it's in uh, code. But the, when, when the local commanders respond to to Talat's uh, inquiries, they also write in code. But because the code Talat cannot read, the telegram office clerk writes over the code the actual words, and the copy is kept in the archive. So. I paid a Turkish archive worker to send me copies of those documents. So now we know the, the code. We can break the code now after so many years because of the school. So there are a lot of documents. I must say that there are also a lot of documents in, in so many countries, yeah? particularly Germany is the, is the most valuable one because they were the ally. So they can contest other archi archives, be, saying it's enemy archives, uh, distorted the facts, but they cannot uh, contest the German archives. Jerusalem, the papers that are there, I think people will be interested. At the Patriarch. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, Dr. China remind me, well, one of the most valuable archives of the Armenian Genocide is right here in Jerusalem uh, at, the, at the Armenian Patriarchate. It's been sitting there for almost 100 years, still not in a very organized fashion. They're working on it. But they, they were uh, taken out of the uh, Armenian Patriarch in Istanbul, right after the genocide, so that the Turkish government would not destroy them. They were shipped to Marseille. From there, they were, they were brought to Armenian Patriarchate in, uh, uh, in Jerusalem, and they're, they're sitting there, so they're one of the most valuable sources that mostly untapped. In Turkish? Uh, well, no, they are in Armenian, many of them, because they were reports by the regions to the Patriarchate, by their local churches. George and Tiana, our guests, will speak about this later on. Please. Mr. Rajiv, um, do you think there is a chance to see a change in uh, the human rights policy in Turkey and specifically in the policy towards the recognition of the Armenian genocide in the next few years? You know, uh, Turkey uh, had <coughs> just a very critical election. Uh, in uh, this period, uh, again, Turkey went back uh, the uh, old uh, way uh, of the ultra-nationalism also painted uh, by uh, the religion. It's more dangerous uh, combination, I think, because the Unionist Party use this factor also, uh, Armenian genocide uh, based uh, legally 
on the declaration of jihad decision, holy war decision. Uh, so it was also first uh, misusing of religion in world politics. And you know uh, the results now, especially in Middle East, the results of misusing of religion for political aims by the uh, big powers. Uh, Turkey in a very uh, critical point now, a great, uh, a great uh, polarization. Uh, if they if go on, uh, leave it uh, aside, uh, accepting the truth, Turkey in the uh, potential danger for new genocides. You know, the old story begin with Armenian reform. One of the reasons of Armenian genocide was uh, so-called supported by the big powers, uh, Armenian reform. In Turkey, Kurdish uh, question, peaceful solution went in crisis, like Armenian reform collapse. So this is a potential danger uh, worst events in Turkey. Thank you. Thank you very much, the participant. Thank you very much, the public. I think it was a wonderful session. Thank you.